apps. We, we need another app because there's a lot of apps. And I know this sounds crazy, but Floya is um, actually an app um, and it is um, organized by the government, but especially the public transport companies. So the STIP, the MEVB has launched it, but with the help of the, 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 the regional government. And what's the idea? It's now, if you want to get around in Brussels, you need to really know how to get along. You need to know, okay, I can take a dot step or I can take a poppy car or I can go by Cambio or I can use this tip or There's a take lot of the land yeah. So I, I have about 12 applications on my phone that I use regularly. So it is, wow. it you need to really know your way. So it's not organizing traffic around people. So the idea of Floya was, you need to have an app in which that you say, okay, I'm going from point A to B. What's the best way? And I know those apps exist. I do also have Google Maps on my phone, but, and it's telling you, okay, um, you can do it, but you cannot from that application directly book your Cambio or ask the taxi to come. So it's still, you, you see an option, but then you still need to open the other apps. So the idea is if one integrated application that shows you how to get there in a multimodal way, because Floya is showing more options on many other applications. Say, okay, you can cycle for 10 minutes and then you can take a train and that will bring okay. you faster. So it is, it has a lot of intelligence behind it. But the idea is, especially at UK from in that app, you can pay all the ways to get around. And so it is an, an all integrated application. Um, we were very inspired by the system in Vienna. So they also um, have this and it showed that it, it helps people discover new ways of getting around. Most people are in a certain habit, uh, yeah. especially in Belgium, we're very monomodal. People are either cyclists, either car. <laughs> uh, the car user, either public transport. and. We need to get become more multimodal because sometimes you're tired, you know, on the cycle, and then perhaps the, the metro is a good option, or sometimes you have a lot of luggage and, and you really need a car. Yep. And so being multimodal is really the future of Brussels and, and not everybody needs to bend their car forever, but if for one or two times a week you can get around differently, it really changes the difference in the street. So yep. Floya is it's your partner in, in getting around in Brussels and uh, it's offering you ways to get around you didn't know and everything is integrated in the app. It is a growing app, so she's now launched. I call her she because Floya is a, it's a woman. Uh, so she will grow and she will become more and more. Yep. Um, and I'm really convinced that it will be very practical. Also for tourists, how can I get around? Do I get to, and you just put in your credit card and you can pay every mode. You can that pay way. and the app as that's, well. That's, okay. yes. Does it that's provide? a really important yeah, element. Exactly. Does it also provide data to the city? Because I can imagine it has useful data for, uh, for the city in terms of mobility, the planning of streets and so on. If you, yeah. if you have all the data, it's very, very useful. Absolutely. The data are, uh, Anonymized, of course, we do respect yeah, privacy, absolutely. but it's now we have a lot of data for, for public transport. You know, oh, bus line 95 is really saturated, so we need to put in bigger buses on that line. But it is because people are losing that bus. But with this app, we really know from where are people going. So you can really learn a lot. And perhaps the 95 needs to have another direction or cut in two because we see many people actually needing this or this yep. way to get around it. It will collect a lot of data in how to offer and organize our public transport or our transport in general in Brussels. Um, also on who, because uh, we know that men and women, for example, Travel in general, differently. use different ways to get around. Um, so it will really learn us a lot on who is getting around, what are the real needs of mobility and how can we respond to those uh, needs in the in the best way. Yep. Um, so there's a really rich data collection um, for the government behind it.